All right, let's do this, boys. Hey, what's up? I am Pirate Lai, and today I have a new reveal video for you guys. This one is about the ongoing expansion called The Drop Site Massacre. The second wave will be about the Salamanders. It will come out on the August 4th. I currently have five brand new cars to show you, and I'm very excited about it. So, hey, let's start this up. Alright, so the very first card is called Warden Armor. It is a two energy artifact. The description is give Survivor 2 to a friendly unit. So the artifacts mechanics should have been already explained in the previous reveal video, so I'm not gonna read it all, but if you missed it, feel free to pause and check it out for yourself. So back to our card, so this artifact is pretty decent, I would say. Give Survivor 2 to a friendly unit is important, the fact that it's to a unit, so that means to your warlord as well. It can clutch some situation, maybe help you get, you know, your survivability up a little for your troops. So all in all, I think it's a pretty decent one to have. Our next card is called Dragon's Breath. It is a tree energy artifact. Its description is deal 1 to 2 damage to all enemies. So it's another artifact. This one costs 3 though. And I think it's pretty alright in the sense that, you know, the fact that you can choose some of them, it can come in handy if the opponent's going wide a little, you know, against uh, defenders of Caliban and a uh, faction like that. It's alright. Nothing too crazy here. I think it's pretty decent as well. Okay, so now I apologize for the pronunciation of the following cards, but this one is the legendary Onadir. It is a 3 energy cost as Tardis with 2 attack and 4 health. Its description is, when you play an artifact, deal 2 damage to a random enemy. Alright, so for a 3 energy troop, it's got the stat at the right place, which means the elf has 4. Uh, the description is alright, I mean, if you can buff it up with some of the artifact, maybe it becomes a bit more of an annoying troop to deal with. The damage is fine, it's random damage. So all in all, I think it's a pretty decent rare card, nothing too crazy there, but it's pretty solid, I think. Alright, so this card is called Warden Richtar. It is a 8 energy cost as Tardis with 8 attack and 7 health. Its description is Survivor Tree. Pay 2 energy, choose an artifact and add it to your end. Can act again. Alright, so this one I think it's pretty good, okay? For an 8 energy troop, it's got Survivor, which is very important. But it's got an ability that you can act again. Those can be very dangerous, especially if you know you're running an old cards. You can start creating artifacts after artifacts. I haven't seen all of them yet, but you know it can become pretty crazy. It can become really intense if this card can stick. So for an epic, a big epic, I think it's pretty all right. I think it has some potential to be played for sure. All right, our final card is called Karshan Forge Warden. It is the rare warlord of Salamanders. He's got two attack and 30 HP. His description is Survivor 5, pay two energy, choose an artifact and add it to your hand. It costs one energy less. His initiative is medium. All right, so now that we have the first warlord of the Salamanders, let's discuss him, all right? I think he's pretty all right. Again, Survivor 5 on a rare warlord, that means he's at 35 HP basically with an extra stab. It's pretty good, I think. The fact that he can choose an artifact and head it to his end and it costs less, that means he's always gonna have a first turn, second turn, and late during the game he can always create those to support the troops, right? Or deal with the enemy's board like we saw. So I think he's pretty decent, probably not the best, but I do believe he has some great potential and will be played. He also has medium initiative, which I'm really happy because the counterattack of Salamanders, which is I hope, I hope Evergill are gonna change it, I'm really not a fan of the counterattack of the Salamanders. Alright, so that's it from me, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and those reveals. I do believe that those cards will be played, they're pretty good, I think. The Salamanders might come up really strong, we'll see how it goes, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Salamanders of the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, I appreciate every single one of you tuned in today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! Whew, alright, you know what time it is, boys? Fucking right, see you!